Hello everybody, we're getting ready to do uh, lesson 4.6 of Algebra 1, Part 1. And if you need Part 2, Part 3, email me here. 4.6, fit a line to data. That's what this is about. Here's our standard. We got a 48-point skill sheet for the classwork. And then we have a 4-point notebook uh, guide to, uh, to go with it as well. Teachers, here's your bell work for your students. Explain how or to tell where two lines perpendicular give the equations of the lines. So it's a writing uh, question. Writing equation line passed through the given point is parallel to the given line. Okay, algebra. And give them five minutes for this. Okay, welcome back. We get ready to give you some solutions here for your bell work. There is number one. The lines are perpendicular, negative reciprocals, and then number two here would be write an equation line pass through the given point is parallel to the given line. So what do we got here? We got a slope of what? We solved for y, we got one third x, so we need a slope of one third with these two points here. We plug it back into a point uh, uh, slope intercept form of a line and then we plug that back in. Here is the line that's parallel to this line. <clears throat> okay. Fit a line to data. You model situations involving constant rate of change. You'll make scatter plots and write equations to model data. So you can model scientific data. Here we're going to start off with a table. A scatter plot is a graph used to determine whether there's a relationship between paired data Scatter plots can show trends in the data. So there's scatter plot, there's scatter plot, there's scatter plot. What does the scatter plot mean? It means that positive correlation. You have a line, a positive slope of the line that most of the plots are around. And then here you have a negative correlation. So as you as you move to the right, the the uh, output is more negative, so you have a negative correlation here. And then here, there's no correlation. It's just a complete scatter plot. Re relatively no correlation there. Students, in your own words, define scatter plot and define positive correlation. In your own words, there's a. This goes on your class worksheet. So, and then again here. In your own word, students, negative correlation and relatively no correlation. Again, this goes in your classwork that you turn in the day of class, or you send it to me if you're online, you send it to me on the day of class. Okay, described correlation of data here. So described correlation of this data here of the graph of the data graphed in the scatter plot. Test scores and hours of study. Shows positive correlation between hours of studying and test scores. The test scores increased as hours of study went up. And then if y tends to increase as x increases, the paired data are said to have positive correlation. There's a pretty good definition right here, positive correlation. Okay, now uh, example one, describe correlation of data here. So we have this situation here. Guess what that is? Test scores and then hours of TV watched. Scatter plot shows negative correlation between hours of TV and test scores. <clears throat> More TV watch, less test scores, so scores tend to decrease. If Y tends to decrease as X increases, the paired data are said to have negative correlation. And to our guided practice here, <clears throat> we're going to use these scatter plots here. Predict a reasonable test score for four and a half hours study and four and a half hours of TV watch. So, and then students, this is you. So whether this is positive, negative, or relatively no correlation. Okay, got to practice. Here's our uh, uh, plot here. So 4.5 hours of study and 4.5 hours of TV watched. Here is 4.5 hours. Of, uh, of studying and then for here here's our line this is say a line of fit for our uh, test scores 
and then for here is 71, so the amount of test scores for four and a half hours study would be one. And then for uh, hours of TV watched, test scores, so four and a half hours of TV watched, our test scores are actually higher if you watch four and a half hours of TV versus four and a half hours of studying. So, what does that mean? <clears throat> A reasonable test score of four and a half hours of study is 71. A reasonable test score of four and a half hours of TV is 76. So if you limit it to four and a half hours of TV, then that means that you're studying more, rather than the other way around. If you limit it, your your test time or your study time to four and a half hours, your score isn't. Okay, make a scatter plot. The table shows uh, the lengths in centimeters and swimming speed. So we have this. <clears throat> table here. <clears throat> Make a scatter plot of the data. Treat the data as ordered pairs. The lead X represent length in centimeters. That Y represent the speed in centimeters per second. Plot the ordered pairs as points in a coordinate plane, and that we've done here. <clears throat> we have done that here. When let's see, 19.2 here. We got a 47 for that, and then a 21.3, we get an 88. So we have a general, like, looks like a positive correlation here between um, speed, <clears throat> or rather length of fish, and then speed. So as the lengths go up on fish, the higher speed they swim. Describe the correlation in the data. Positive correlation means longer fish, tend to swim faster. Okay, into our next guided practice here. Make a scatter plot of the data. Describe the correlation. Students, this is you. Here, do this here. Okay, for our guided practice, there's our table. Then here is your plot here. And then a line of fit would go somewhere in between these uh, plots here. <clears throat> Describe the data. Positive correlation as x increases, y increases. So again, here's your plot here. That seems to be the case. That was 4.6 PowerPoints part one. If you want part two, part three, email me here. Thank you.